What's up YouTube and multi-tool people? I'm Joe, you're watching my channel Ink and Iron, and I'm back today with a initial impressions review of a rake tool. And yes, you pronounce it rake. I know, I can read also. I know it's not spelled that way. We all just have to deal with it. All right, it is model M42-N in brown. Brown G10 specifically, uh, if you don't know this line of tools, these are Rake's answer to Victorinox tools, and they're very similar to uh, Boker's tech tools because uh, I believe Rake is actually the OEM for those. So here's what you get. You're know, ready to make it M series. Does that explain everything that's on here? Yeah, I mean, we don't have all of these. That's for a different tool, but anyway. Here's the tool. So first off, glaringly obvious, is a big old pocket clip, and let me get that off of there. Big old pocket clip, reminiscent of uh, Real Steel Knives. I don't know if you've seen that brand. I believe Rake is actually the OEM for that brand as well, but uh, very sturdy, not gonna spring out on you, pretty robust. We do have a corkscrew. It is very reminiscent of Victorinox. Actually, you know what, for fun, let's take out the corkscrew and see if it's a similar enough design to take the corkscrew. Oh, no, no it is not. Look at that, it gets bound up. Interesting, yeah, that is not easy. I think you could force it on there, but I don't think I want to. So, interesting, can't mix and match Victorinox tools with the rake here. All right, corkscrew, no uh, no pin slot. Just, you know, pointing that out. Uh, pretty nice all and very similar to what we find on Victorinox. Very, very similar. Stitching eyes in both of them, hollow ground, uh, reamer blade. And are they the same length? Yeah, virtually the same length, so interesting should be pretty serviceable i like the all uh, is that it for the back side yes all right we have a glass breaker tip which uh, i don't know how many of you are using this every day uh, i have never used a glass breaker tip on anything so uh, it's there if you want it i don't know if it's removable i may try to if that's the case uh, we do have tweezers there's not going to be a toothpick on this tool and I am just saying things that are absent because I'm comparing it to a Victorinox tool. That is kind of the gold standard for a knife-based multi-tool. But these are really robust. Yeah, it's a completely different size class. It feels much sturdier. And let's see, can I pluck hairs? Yep, that'll pluck a hair. Great. Okay, so they are precise enough to use for hygiene related tasks, that's good. We have a blade on here, looks pretty nice. Hello, very shiny, well polished. It is made of 12C27, which is a named stainless steel, which is pretty cool. Comes sharp. I'd say it comes about as sharp as any Victorinox that I've had straight out of the box. It's a bigger blade, it's a taller blade. Thicker stock, it's like three millimeter stock on there. Pretty similar finish, nail nick opening, sharpening choil. Not much of a kick on here. Victorinox, you can kind of pinch onto the kick and so you know the blade's not gonna close on your fingers. You don't have as much of that going on here. Just something to be aware of. I feel like the back spring is robust enough to keep it from just guillotining your fingers. I don't think that's going to be a problem here at all. I should mention Rake uh, sent me this for free. I should put that out there. So I'm very happy to check this out for them. I love that it comes in brown also. Uh, that is my favorite color, including for my gear. We do have a saw. It is remarkably similar. So the Rake is just a touch longer. Virtually the same amount of cutting edge because this kind of stops short and this goes all the way. Yeah, interesting. It is 
tapered, just like Victorinox. It does seem to be bi-directional cutting, so on the push and the pull it should be cutting. And then uh, do you see that flashing a little bit? I haven't used this saw on this Victorinox, so that's why it has that. Let's see if the rake has it. Yeah, a little bit. You can see some little nubbins on those tiny teeth in there. Yeah, weird. Scissors. So I guess you're supposed to use them like this because, right, they want to fold in like that. So I can't imagine you're meant to push on the back side because you can just, you know, knock them closed again. The scissors do work well. Cut to the end, to all the way to the tips. They do bypass, bypass properly. So should be a pretty good pair of scissors. Haven't put them to hard use yet. I will let you know, but serviceable. They feel good. Not much of a pad here for your thumb, but they are very easy to press. But overall, seems pretty sturdy. Nice uh, spring bar on there. Have no worries about the long-term durability on that. There's a bottle opener. There is no can opener on this tool, and this is very similar to a Victorinox. Do you have a wire stripping notch for small gauge wire if you're so inclined? This, <laughs> this little terrifying tool is the serrated blade. And the way it is configured, this is fully open, right? So when you're cutting, you are essentially feeding things straight up into the serrations and it just chews them up. I have used one of these before on a different rake tool and uh, wow, yeah, very sharp, very service serviceable. This is supposed to be a Phillips driver on top. Uh, I don't think I'd want to use it. <laughs> One, it's not at the right angle for anything. And two, there's no choking up on here. This is a very sharp serrated edge. So I'm not really sure how you're supposed to use it without it just snap and shut on your finger. I would be, I would be very hesitant to use that as a, a driving tip at all. This little nubbin right here is the hideaway lanyard ring. Quite a bit more substantial than something like Victorinox's, but they usually throw in a, a you know key ring as well. Uh, I kind of like that it hides away and doesn't stick out the end. You've already got you know a glass breaker sticking out, so might as well be able to tuck that away. The Rake M42 in grams weighs 143.6. 5.066 ounces. So, you know, quite a bit heavier than your comparable Victorinox, but not obscenely so. You get a little bit more knife blade. These tools all feel pretty robust. So I'm not mad at it. And let's check it out in the pocket and see how that's gonna work out. Okay, not the easiest thing to put in my pocket. Sticks out a little bit. Not horrible. Kind of feels a bit like a cold steel knife or something. Get a good amount of friction against the G10 in the pocket clip, so keep that in mind. But it is not going anywhere. And, you know, it's not too deep in the pocket. Still leaves room for the hand, so not too bad. So let's talk about price point while we compare the size of these. So this guy is a Victorinox uh, Mountaineer, I think. So that means it has the file. And if it had the saw instead, it would be a Huntsman. And the Huntsman would basically be what the Rake M42 here is, is targeting in terms of its tool set. So I think these are gonna be pretty comparable in size. You could swap out the file on this tool for a saw without altering its dimensions so this should be the same size in terms of price point they are also extremely similar if you're going for a victorinox, victorinox huntsman or a rake m42 you're going to spend somewhere between um, 50 and 55 dollars like i said i got this provided to me so that was very nice of you rake i really appreciate it I love that this comes in brown. I think the price is right. 
you know, if you're competing with Victorinox of the same caliber, I think your fit and finish is good. I think the quality is good. I think the pocket clip works very well. And uh, I will definitely be carrying this to work with me and seeing how much it comes in handy. It's kind of a shame that you can't get a corkscrew tool in here, but you know, I can live without it also. Uh, no toothpick, which I always find kind of unhygienic anyway. So it, it kind of dropped all the features of a Victorinox that I don't use very much, uh, except for the straight pin. I could, I could use a straight pin on here. You can also remove the scales and take the tool apart, which Victorinox does not really want you to do. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah, overall, I think the rake is competitive and I would probably combine it with small pair of pliers. Here's my Knipex mini pliers wrenches also have mini Cobras, but I think that would partner well with something like this basically giving you, you know, a full-size multi-tool function in two smaller items and uh, You know you get to use them separately. You don't have to pull out this to use pliers You don't have to pull out pliers to use your knife. It's kind of nice anyway, that's the initial impressions of the rake m42 let me uh Pull these features out of here for a little thumbnail. Here it is in all of its glory. <laughs> all right, thanks for joining me. I've been Joe. You've been watching Ink and Iron. If you want more multi tool reviews, as well as fountain pens, knives, other stuff, typewriters, like, sub, do the things, and I'll catch you on my next vlog. All right, bye.